We're about to transition. It's almost five o'clock. We're getting ahead of ourselves. But when you have such a dear friend, uh, oh, such man. as uh, the legendary <laughs> pop star, uh, we have to just move. We just have to end We just have to turn the angle whenever you get the chance. Um, so in just about a minute or two, we're going to have the legendary, the iconic, the kind, the always smiling, and uh, and the, and the wonderful Andy Madadian that's going to be joining the celebration of No Rules 1400. Andy John, if you can hear me, your your camera just needs to be uh, turned to the side. You're horizontal at this moment, my friend. And um, there we go. Yeah. So so this 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 man definitely does not need an introduction. But uh, right before we officially go on, I don't know if we've actually already brought him on or not. Give me one second. Oh, okay. It looks like we actually have him. So, you know what? Without any further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I get on me, Andy. Andy, John, Hello. 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 We're, we're, we're still on low budget, you know, so we're, we're doing this. On low, <laughs> we're doing Zoom so, style live stream. <laughs> the production is low budget. You are high budget. Well, sure. my friend. So, uh, so um, first of all, how have you been? Fantastic. My friend, I'm going to mean Aramesh, Yain, Aram, Tarin. AD would take a man that is in the game, do you stand by it? I'm willing to take a cool name. I, I know. I mean, I don't even think you remember the last time that you were at home yeah. on March 20th. No, it's almost impossible. But in case of my 15th salary, that help me, I started to work. Today, the day I was in Iran, I was in Iran. 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 ارمنستانیم ولی این خیلی جالبه که خونه هستم اگه خونه نبودم نمیتونستم با تو حرف بزنم you know what and by the way as you speak of Armenistan my dear friend yes. is the representative of North America of Kafa which is an Armenian coffee brand so now that we have uh, our Iranian Armenian I want it'd be perfect time for me to put this I had this up earlier today but I I wanted to go ahead and just put it up right now to show them some love. They've been our supporters of our program. So I want to make sure that we show it. So anyway, so, so I'm sure you're having some mixed emotions. On one hand, you're happy to be at home, but let's be right. honest. You would love to also be on stage. You would love to be in Armenia. You would love to be anywhere. Uh, but you are, I think, yeah. the kind of man that will make the best out of everything that is handed to you, correct? It's true. I, I think this was a blessing for me, actually, because... For a year, I was able to stay home and live like a normal person because an artist doesn't have a normal life. And I have never really tasted normal, normalcy. And this has been beautiful because what it gave me and gave Shaney, a lot of artists, is that we went back to our roots where creativity comes from. And, and in our own solitude, we were able to create. So we have created many new songs. And once this corona is out of the way, which will be out of the way soon, we'll come out with new songs, new energy, new life. This is 1400, it's a new century. We should start like we were just born with no flaws. Everything is good, people are kind. People love each other. <laughs> so that's my philosophy now. You're, you're, you're the ultimate energizer, Bunny, and a burst of positivity, my friend. I love it. Um, thank you. Thank you. So, so, so Andrew, in, in addition to obviously staying home and giving you an opportunity to cre create more music, um, what is one other thing aside creating music that you've been doing that you were not doing prior to the pandemic. So like, I don't know if it's working out more, I don't know if it's whatever it is. What is one thing that you were doing more that you appreciate now? I spend a lot of time with my dogs and uh, that's been the treat of my life. And then when I talk to my friends, I'm not in a rush to leave. When I'm on the phone with Iman and we're chatting, I'm not in a rush because I have time. So I have connected to a lot of my friends, high school friends, people who I love to see and talk more often, but we never got to. So I did a lot of catching up to do. 
And uh, the one thing I have complained for is I haven't played enough soccer. And hopefully starting next week, we're going to start playing football. And that's going to, that, then life is perfect. So, so far you've just been playing soccer with your dogs, uh, which didn't have <laughs> And now you're my guys here. Okay. So, uh, well, so <laughs> I, have a, I have a soccer net outside in a, a driveway. When, uh, when you kick it, it rebounds. So I've done a lot of that and <laughs> some exercises, but I'm looking forward to seeing my friends on the yeah. green grass. Yeah, I mean, so, so, solo soccer, you know, uh, they, 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 the camaraderie, the camaraderie is something else. So, it's true, uh, <laughs> it's true. Um, and so, uh, you know, on a topic of Noru's and, and, and camaraderie and family, actually, um, is, there, is there one Noru's memory from back when you were in Iran that you recall that you would like to share with us? Hmm. Well, I have many. Some of them I cannot share with you. Don't forget. The PG-13 ones. <laughs> Don't forget we were 18, 19, and 20. And we were oh, wow. wild and crazy. Those were oh, the rock and roll days. Come on, give, give, me an ex, give me an exclusive Andy juicy story. <laughs> well, maybe after the interview. But listen, <laughs> listen I can tell you this. Uh, I've only lived in Iran one third of my life, and those have been beautiful days, and I would love to go back and experience it again, and hopefully one of these Nowruzes, we can do a major concert, travel all over the country. Uh, because of my dad's work, I lived in many, many villages because my dad built roads. Right. So we were in places where they had no power, no water, no running water. And uh, we lived in small uh, clay houses. And those were some of my best memories. That's how I know the real Iran, which is the villages in Rustaha, Azahoy Rustai, Mive Rustai, Sobhane Rustai. So I tell you, I've, I have the best memories of Iran. And although I have the greatest life here, I wish for a day where us Iranian Americans can split our times between LA and Tehran. That's my New Year's resolution. That would, def that would definitely be many people's hopes. And that's exactly why at 5.37 a.m. this morning, Eastern Standard Time, when uh, we had Sal Tabir, the song that I played was your song, Daran Miran Be Tehran. You know, because I couldn't think of any other song that would be more fitting than uh, than the feeling. Well, not just because I love you and we were going to have you, but, you know, it is such a beautiful song. The lyrics are so poignant. And I actually had also Shabnam Rezai, who created the uh, Babak and right. Friends. So I was, right. like, I was like, you know what? What perfect uh, song and music video to be mm -hmm. playing than that one. And it was a great thing. Thank you. Well. Yeah. We should thank Proxima and Manuche Cheshmoze for writing the song. And Absolutely. of course, on the second video of that, we should thank Latoya Jackson, who joined me on that song. And That's that was great. like a million, millions of views on YouTube. That's, that was great. That was a wonderful collaboration. Thank you for we're, playing it. Of course, bringing that song back to life about, I think, 12 years, 13 years later. So I'm glad yes. that uh, that happened. So uh, on the topic of, of music, and obviously our, our, our time with you today is unfortunately short and sweet. But, um, uh, you know, speaking of music, you know, you've been working uh, on, on a new love song album that just recently was coming out. Can you kind of share the details of the, the whole album and what songs were on it? Um, the love songs, Paranoia or Sharone, is out. It's been out a couple of weeks. You can get it on iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, YouTube, and Lyra Music, which is a new Iranian app. And we just started working with them. and. Hopefully people will catch up and find it. And uh, these are songs mostly written by me and Paximo. And uh, 24 of my greatest hits, uh, ballads, love songs. I always make fun and say, hey, put this in the background and make love. You'll see how great uh, <laughs> your, your lovemaking will be. 
So these are 20, I'm telling you, you wanted me to be explicit and I did. Are you doing this? So, so you're the new Persian Barry White? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> you're very good. Yeah, I mean, try it. If you don't like it, uh, uh, we'll pay back I, <laughs> what you spend on it. I, I, I'll, this... I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, good, good. After uh, 24 songs, after. 24 songs, yeah. love songs, in two different albums, volume one and two. And obviously, most of them were produced by Elton Farrokhai in Rusk Studios. And I'm just so proud of these ballads because that's where we show our orchestration arrangement and most people don't know that I write and produce and arrange and this is a good way of connecting to our older fans and hopefully bringing in some new fans who like Iranian ballads and so the videos we wrote all the lyrics that Paxima had written in Farsi and it's on YouTube and as you can see I'm excited about it because uh, the corona time was sometimes was one of those days that you don't want to dance. You just want to listen to something or on bash and cool you down. This is that kind of album. Man, uh, well, I can't wait to listen to the whole album. And you know, when you mentioned Paxi Majun and you mentioned Farrokh Ahi, first of all, like those are two angels in the Persian entertainment industry and they're jewels in our community. And just seeing you and hearing Paxima and Farrokh Ahi takes me back to star musician back in 2000. Yes. And 14, and uh, I am forever grateful for you always supporting uh, all the events that I've ever done. Uh, starting you. back when you know you didn't know who I was and what I was doing, but you were always a supporter of uh, people who were trying to bring people together. You know, and and that I is know really a talent when I see one. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> it, it well, you lot. and I go go back a long way, and I've always supported you because you deserve it. Thank You're you. great in what you do, and obviously, oh, yes, I'm here. And yeah. <laughs> not only you're great in what you do, you always, always take the side of people. You want to uh, serve people. You want to do your best for people. And even when we do concerts and there's not much money made, you're still happy because you say the concert was great, people were happy. So that's the side of you that I appreciate. And you will go further, my friend, I know. Thank you. And you know what? I think that it's because of people like you that I'm able to do that. So I just want to say thank you for, uh, you know, giving me the lending hand. I always say that when you are high above, there's a lot of people down that if you just reach down, you can pull up. And you're always one of those people in the industry that was really, really, really high up there. And I always looked up to you and you brought me up and, I owe it to you to do the same thing with anybody else right below. So it's just all about passing the baton. And you're you're yes. you're you're a, you're an artist of the people. You're a human of the people. And so thank I'm just you. I'm just following your footsteps, my friend. So thank you very thank much Mike. for that. Thank you. Of course. And, uh, I also uh, need to tell you that um, right before Shaney's turn was to talk to you, she got on a conference call because she's in the middle of making a movie. Yeah. That we'll start shooting in the next two months. And there was a conference call with the directors and, and everybody. And I'm here filling in. Uh, I think she's, she's still on the phone. No, I need, want. Your, yes. I need your, you. Your house must be so big that you don't realize that I was, I was just finishing with Shani. When, when you texted me, I, I already Oh, she did. was doing it. Can you yeah. imagine? I, oh, I already saw Luna. <laughs> I saw okay. Luna's, Luna's haircut. Oh, there you go. I don't know. We talked about the movie. We talked about Voices Out. Of course. What's yeah. like that? <laughs> I'm on the other side of the house and set up for this. And then I'm hearing her because like <laughs> since 12 o'clock, she's been on that call. So sometime in the middle of that, she switched to that. Yeah. And by the way, I, that was me. I opened the door and I let in one of the dogs. Oh, we yeah, have three sure. of them. Yeah, that yeah we have that. three of them. <laughs> Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. You're on top of it, man. Yeah, I, we, we try. I mean, I, I thank my team for helping doing all the stuff behind the scenes. Um, my friend, you, you definitely are getting a lot of love on uh, YouTube chat. So many people. Andy Fan Club, Uzbekistan, which I'm sure he's from Uzbekistan. Yeah. He's asked multiple times, what time you're coming on? What time you're coming on? <laughs> he, he, Can I he, say something about Uzbeki people? Of course. 
I want to say Happy Nowruz to all my Uzbeki friends, Samaran, Bukhara, and Tajik friends in in um, uh, Doshanbe and uh, Tashkent, of course, and my Afghani friends, all the Farsi-speaking people in the world, uh, Kurdistan. Uh, I love them, and I'm hoping one of these days I can go to Soleimaniya and do a major concert. And so we are sharing the rules, all of us together, and I hope to see you guys soon. Omid Varam, yeah, just to kind of pass on a message, he said, he or she, uh, it's called the Andy Fan Club Uzbekistan, and said, oh, please, beautiful. please send our no rules greetings to Andy on behalf of all Uzbek fans. We already miss Andy from Uzbekistan, Batir Khan. And so uh, to, to all the friends at Andy Fan Club Uzbekistan, obviously you're hearing him reciprocating the love and... Uh, it's great, and they they refer to you as our king, and that's you know. Um, but uh, uh, I appreciate it when uh, Iman. One time when I go to Samarkand and Bukhara, if you come with me, you're gonna be out of this world because you would feel like you're in Iran. The people are warm. The of course all these uh, beautiful cities used to be a part of the big Khorasan, which was the Iran of the old days. And those people still feel like they're part of us. And we're all part of one thing. They all love poetry, the Rumi, the Hafez, the Saadi, the Ferdusi. I go to Tajikistan and people speak, speak in the poetic language. That's how beautiful they are. So yes. next time we go together. Well, it will be my pleasure to introduce you on that stage. Uh, as you get to be treated like a king, yet as humble as a regular person, because that's always the person that you've been. Um, and actually, I went back to your other homeland uh, when I went to go host the Modern Talking concert with Vahe and in front of 8,000 people. I was very close mm -hmm. to Iran being in Armenia, uh, being in that beautiful venue over there. So uh, if, right. if, that, if that's also a place that can get me one inch closer to the motherland, I, I, it would be my honor. So I hope that- There is nothing comes. like going to Armenia because I go to Yerevan and thousands of Iranians cross the board in bikes and motorbikes and cars and planes and trains and automobiles. They come and it's like such a beautiful feeling because we all share the same love of Persian music and Armenians welcome us there. When I go there, I feel like I'm home. I travel through the country. I stand in, in every corner and drink that Armenian coffee. Do you yes. have it on your table? Kaffa. And, <laughs> and <laughs> I drink that and people bring out cakes and cookies and nazooks, homemade and Life is so beautiful. I wish these politicians would get along so all of us, Iranians, Americans, Armenians, everybody can get along so we can, we normal people can have good life yeah. thanks to each other. Well, I, I hope so. And I, as I told you with the, with the podcast episode that I have with Shahzadeh and Balazrat, you know, we talked about some special things. And when the episode is released, we're, we're working on some pretty, pretty interesting things that will unify people, not just Persians, but our brothers and sisters and neighboring countries. I mean, uh, music has the power to bring everybody together. And we, 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 need, we need to be that vehicle to, to change the world because this world has been fractured uh, because of the wrong people uh, leading the way. And we need to flip the script. We need to change the tide. And I think that music is 100% 100% the way to go. And I, I'd like to make it my lifelong mission to, to be able to uh, at least uh, make a small dent into it, you know? And I don't know if we just lost you. Okay, he's back. So, no, well, and, uh, yeah. you, you're absolutely right. I'll finish with this. Uh, yeah. All of those uh, areas, countries around the Middle East, they have a long history. When you have a long history, you have conflict. But if you listen to each other's music and yeah. culture, you'll see we are so similar. We are same people. Uh, and we people should go through music and peace and be an ambassador of peace and not let the politicians uh, stir up the pan. No, absolutely. And, 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 this is, and this is why we, we operate under the brand Unite and Conquer. And I look forward to standing shoulder to shoulder with you 
and many other artists that they have the same mission and vision that we have here, me and you, and, and all, really all the people that were part of this whole live stream. We're building a coalition. We're going to do some major, major damage, but damage of good, you know, and make sure that we do it the right way. And together we can definitely make it happen. Andy Jab Bishab after Demigira. Uh really, really appreciate you spending uh, part of your notice with us. Uh Salamati, Khoshi, and for you to be on a stage very, very soon. And me introducing you to a crowd that is waiting to hear you perform. God bless you. Thank you. Take care, everyone.